Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 15th of November to the 15th of December. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. All right, so your challenge is the Ten of Pentacles, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Tower in Reverse, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm really getting an energy of getting to the bag, getting to that money, getting to those resources here. We're gonna find out more about what this means for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Five of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. It looks like in the recent past, there was some sort of conflict, uh, Sagittarius, that kept you feeling stuck. A lot of you try to bring um, some form of balance to the situation in the past is what I'm seeing. We're gonna find out more when we clarify. In the present moment, you have the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. So it looks like in the present moment, a lot of you are rushing towards maybe somebody here um, who, you know, brings you a lot of fulfillment, a lot of happiness. There could even be a celebration that's happening in the present moment, um, maybe even a reconciliation. We're going to find out more when we clarify. In the near future, you have the Temperance, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. It looks like for many of you, the wait is finally going to be over. Um, there's something here in the near future that you're waiting on, and I feel like it's an offer of love that's coming in. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's definitely some sort of new love that's coming in for you, okay? Or a new beginning in love. We're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, what you don't see coming, Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Tower the lovers, knight of cups, seven of pentacles, five of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. So um, all the cards in reverse. So what this is telling me is a lot of you have, how do I put this? A lot of you disconnected from some sort of situation because it wasn't really giving you the support that you needed, okay? It could have been a job. It could have been um, a business opportunity, business investment here that fell through, okay? It didn't happen. There could have been a missed opportunity. Some of you tried to regain this opportunity or you were dealing with someone who was trying to come back for a second chance here. I feel like that didn't happen because they withdrew. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also feeling like there was a breakup that happened in the past between you and maybe a Gemini or a Scorpio here. Things didn't work out between you and this person or you never really realized this connection. So what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you needed to go through these disappointments in order for you to gain resilience within yourself, okay? So part of being beaten down and broken down, Sagittarius, is to build your resistance so that when you're moving forward, you're stronger, okay? So that's what you don't see coming. Now, let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. So what it looks like for many of you right now, um, your challenge has a lot to do with some sort of decisions that you have to make. Now, some of you are really focused on your finances. This is like a big thing for you, money, career. For others of you, there's a longing for love as well too. There may even be someone from your past that you think about from time to time that may be affecting your ability to focus on your finances here. Your challenge here is to get very clear Sagittarius in your mind about what it is that you want, okay? There's there's a lot of want on here. There's a lot of, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. But a lot of you aren't making plans or you're not 
you know, creating this laser sharp focus. Okay. You need to have laser sharp focus on what it is that you want and then go ahead and pursue it. Right? So this could have a lot to do with maybe someone you want to talk to or deal with from the past. Maybe you want to have a new beginning with someone here from the past. Others of you want to have just a new beginning in love, or you want to focus more on your career, whatever it is, focus on one thing, realize that one thing and then move on to the next thing. That's your challenge between now and mid December. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the five of wands. So the five of wands is clarified by the three of pentacles. You have the four of pentacles and the queen of wands. So I feel like in the recent past, a lot of you were still holding on to this idea of being able to work things out with someone. But I feel like every time you tried to work things out with this person, there was just conflict after conflict after conflict after conflict. And a lot of you felt really stuck in this situation in the recent past. Tell me more about the eight of swords. So the eight of swords is clarified by the ace of wands, the lovers and the page of cups. So yeah, it's like somebody here tried to apologize and, you know, um, release you from this situation, release you from this conflict, this drama in order to have a new beginning. So although you wanted to have a new beginning, although you and this person wanted that this conflict may have been the issue that was stopping you and this person from bringing things back into balance is what I'm seeing here. Okay. So new beginning was supposed to happen, may have not happened because you and this person were having a difficult time, maybe working things out. Um, for some of you, maybe the new begin new beginning did happen, but for majority of you, I feel like it didn't happen or there was, um, some sort of conflict here that stopped it from happening. Now in the present moment, it looks like there is a possibility for reconciliation. I feel like a lot of you are running towards something or you're trying to take action towards something here. Tell me what the important message here is for Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Wands is clarified by the world. You have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So for many of you right now, it's like you're confronting someone. Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's something here about you confronting someone and you're saying, look, this is, this is gonna come to an end. This is gonna come to an end. And the reason why something here is coming to an end, Sagittarius, is because you wanna free yourself from it. You wanna free, and the sirens are going off outside. I don't know if you can hear them. I can. So there's something here that needs to come to an end that you know needs to come to an end. You're confronting it in the present moment. Tell me more about the three of cups. Okay, so the Three of Cups is clarified by the Emperor, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Swords. So for many of you in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that something here is changing. Okay, so if you've been feeling stuck, like you can't move, like you can't seem to get out of this situation that you want to release yourself from, there's going to be an opportunity to do so. And part of this opportunity has a lot to do with you confronting something here that needs to end. Okay, so whatever it is that you need to confront in the present moment, Sagittarius, you're going to know what that is. Um, you need to confront that that's what's going to lead to this happiness that you're seeking you're looking for fulfillment within yourself um, at this time and there's an opportunity for that if you're willing to close some sort of cycle out that you know that it's it's really not working anymore okay um, tell me more about the nine of cups in the present moment for Sagittarius Okay, so the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Temperance, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So for many of you right now in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that there is a painful situation that you want to be released from. You're closed off from people. I don't want to deal with you right now. I don't want to deal with this situation right now. I need time. This is where you're at right now in the present moment. And very similar to, I think, 
if, if it was the Scorpio reading that I was doing, some of you have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with Scorpio, both you and Scorpio are going through a transition right now. Both you and Scorpio and Leo, those three signs are going through transitions right now, okay? So this is what I'm seeing for you in the present moment. Now, in the near future, um, you are still in this place of waiting and being patient for something here to change. I see if you are patient, there is going to be an opportunity that comes in from someone here, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and it may lead to new love. We're going to find out more about this offer. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Justice. So for many of you right now in the in the um, near future, I am seeing that something here is going to be uh, set right. Okay, so either there's going to be a divorce, maybe a justice, um, something to do with the justice system here. I do see you completely setting something right here, and then you're moving towards focusing on your finances. This is going to be a very, very big, important thing for you. Whoever it is that you're getting involved with in the near future is someone that you work with, or you do some sort of business with them, is what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about this new beginning for Sagittarius and love in the near future. So the Ace of Cups is clarified by the Empress, the Hermit, and the Three of Wands. So yeah, it looks like someone here is going to be making an offer to you when you least expect it. I feel like a lot of you are going to be in this Hermit mode in the near future, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and having patience. But the more you're willing to wait, the more um, Spirit is going to place the right person, the right situation in your life in order for it to grow is what I'm seeing. So patience is going to be key here, Sagittarius. For you in the near future so let's get some advice for you the advice for you is the hanged man the sun and the ten of cups your advice here is to recognize when it's time to take action. What you truly want, Sagittarius, is happiness. You want happiness. You want positivity in your life. You want things to flow naturally and be normal. And Spirit is saying that can be yours. But right now you're being called to look at some sort of situation in your life from a different perspective. And that's going to require you to get very clear on what it is that you want. The sun is about clarity. It's about really coming to the point of recognizing the light of what it is that you want. So if you want happiness, there's nothing wrong with that. You can have all the happiness that you want. If you want a family, if you want children, if you want to get married, you know, don't let society tell you that, um, oh, well, you know, you don't need that to be happy. If that's what you believe is going to make you happy, then that's what's going to make you happy. Spirit is saying, sit down with yourself, have time with yourself and really recognize what it is that you want. That's what the hangman is about. The hangman is about really sitting down and thinking from different perspectives of what it is that you truly want. Once you figure out Sagittarius what you want, then you can take action towards this situation that's going to bring you happiness. But you need to know exactly what you want first. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.